Well, Diary of the Griever named John Weaver, which is me, is back on again. 8, 11 p.m. West Coast time on the 18th of February, 2024. Uh, I've been going through a lot of overkill of... A lot of videos. Not on YouTube, but I'm watching a series called Gotham. A decade ago, it was on Fox News, actually on Fox Channel, out here in the West Coast. I never did watch it because I thought it was too damn creepy and I didn't have the cable during those days. But now I have it and I'm watching it. It sucks you in, and it's like, it's very addicting. <laughs> There's a lot of goth gore. It's like watching Tim Burton's version of Batman when it came out in the late 80s. And then the f movie following after that. It was so weird and depressing and dark and, and just how the hell was anybody else supposed to watch that show but it's terribly addicting if you like to deal with mobsters all the damn time fighting against the cops and then you see the internal war and the conflicts between mobsters, connections to the cops not connections to the cops and a lot of bloodshed in a damn thing. This was totally insane. And yet it lasted for about five seasons. And then after that, that was it. They couldn't put it back on. Was it worth watching? I'm still trying to stomach season two. Tomorrow, or when this is broadcasted, <coughs> I'll probably put this on the uh, YouTube tonight before I hit the sack. But it's something that I really, really did not want to do this. You know, get myself overloaded with something that I'll be feeling like crazy, but the thing is, I was watching this thing not to feel or get triggered by other shows I've watched that, that put me through the emotional rocker. And at one time, I liked watching Cops and Robbers, uh, procedural shows. Not exactly one of these procedural shows, this is like a dark, dark live-action comic, comic book. Corny as it may be, and dark, bloody, and uh, I don't know if it was on the level of Sopranos, but maybe not. And I hadn't watched The Sopranos, and I don't want to get into that one either. My brother would have loved watching gangster shows on some occasions, when we actually had cable on television. He liked watching old war, World War II stuff, and... He didn't take too fondly of the 20s, 30s, or 40s gangster shows out there. We never did get into that kind of stuff. But he really wasn't into mobsters either. But just reading or studying about them is one thing on history channels. When you're watching a show dealing with mobsters and cops all the damn time, well, it does get to you. It's, it sucks a lot of stuff out of you. And... You're so into it, you're wondering what happens to these characters over here and wondering not they're going to get it or not. It was supposed to be the darker times before the Dark Knight detective came on unseen. This, uh, the Gotham is showing how James Gordon got into Gotham PD and 
built his empire in the cops to the point where he became commissioner. I understand the last episode of it was... Well, the last episode of it was uh, the cliffhanger. Rough shot, but, you know, they had to show some way when the Dark Knight came in. I mean, after they got the notification that their show was going to be canceled, they had a hodgepodge it. What did they hodgepodge it? I don't know. If I'm going to have some other people that I know are going to be watching this damn thing and trying to keep track whether or not if I'm losing my mind or not. I mean, I'll just tell him that, no, I'm not. Thank you very much, but I'm doing okay. And anything else regarding that? Shit. I don't know. I'm hanging in there for right now. I'm just trying to get... Uh, I gotta get this damn thing working here. It's being a pain in the ass again. So, I gotta do the pain in the ass route. Wondering whether... Oh, yeah, it is gonna be that way about it. Shit. Okay, I have to do things the hard way. On my machine. What else is new? Okay. Trying to get back into YouTube so I can get the videos loaded on here. Okay, so how am I doing specifically? Am I turning into a either guy rooting for law enforcement or am I going to be turning into one of these kind of colorful characters at the mob scenes and rooting for this guy and rooting for that guy or just trying to take account of who's going to be nailed and who's not going to be nailed? I've been staying off the politics all night and actually all day. I'm supposed to be cleaning this place up a bit. I'll be doing that in the morning. At the bug war happening. But certain areas got to be cleaned out a little bit. I'll have a few hours to do that. And then I got to wait for the guys to come in here at around 9 o'clock, between 9 and 11 o'clock, to do their next spraying at this point. So if my therapist, actually, when I get this thing loaded up and sent over to her, she actually sees this file. I'm going to let her know that I'm hanging in there. I don't have any weird-ass thoughts of becoming characters off of a weird-ass mobster versus cops thing. Well, thank you. Am I doing okay emotionally? Well, I have been triggered except earlier this morning. It left me depressed as hell, and I was sick as hell. Depression and grief has a way sometimes of changing moods, changing uh, body uh, functions around a bit. Whereas, you know, I may have woken up for about a two or three hour nap and tried to eat something, and then after that I go back to bed again and sleep it off. And also sometime in those sessions, go to the restroom twice, and not just relieving the bladder either. Diarrhea. I know, it's something nobody else likes to talk about. It's I know. I'm sorry about that one. But if my therapists are watching this thing, it you know, lets them know what's going on. Yeah, temperature, body fluctuations. Uh, breathing issues are still, still there. Still sleeping with the CPAP. Not giving that damn thing up for anything. Still got the wrist braces on the wrist. But no, there have been a buildup of, of phlegm in here and a chest compression. You know, congestion, actually. Just cough that crap up. No bloody, nothing bloody out of that damn thing. And when I get the chills, and I know I got body fluctuations happening, so yeah, lay down or get a um, hoodie or something to cover up with. So far for the rest of the day, I've been functioning. I haven't been moving around as much. My dietary needs fluctuate from time to time. I discovered that those um, 
Honey Bunch of Oats cereals. They're decent when it comes down for roughage, I can tell you that much. I know, I should call this a gross slog right now on this one. Delicious cereal. Throw them in with milk and uh, bananas and raisins and... Who needs milk and magnesia? Or actually, who needs Pepto-Bismol? And then again, who needs prune juice? Good Lord. I know, this is not the log that people would like to listen to. Nobody likes talking about this kind of personal stuff, but it wants, but this is the kind of thing that the medical establishment wants to hear. What's happening mentally and what's happening physically? My feet are still killing me at the time. I had already showered, so I'm doing okay on that uh, aspect. A uh, bit of weakness in the left leg a little bit. Probably not as much activity as I should be having in it. No major headaches or minor pains in the heads, except sometimes I do get the pains. Usually right in this, side, right, in this right area here, in the back. I know it's because of the injury I, I had gotten back in 2012. So it's been about 12 years since I've had the uh, dander near-death near death experience with a damn tire falling on my face. But after that, back still kills me. Lower back, actually. More. A long time ago, I was told by another physician I actually had the beginnings of arthritis in my back. I'm not kidding on that one. Eyesight seems to be okay so far. Neuropathy is still in the fingertips. I'd get shooting pains like I've got they sing, uh, things on fire here. All of them. Sometimes I'll get the shooting pains in one or two fingers at the same time. I'll get them in the, in the toes. About a long while ago I had taken Tylenol. Not today, but you know, a couple of weeks back and I had some shooting pains in my, both my feet so it calmed them down a bit. I haven't taken any Tylenol recently, though, except yesterday. I didn't feel the pain as much. What else? Okay, well, besides the breathing, I'm coughing up fun like crazy. I usually don't spit this stuff out either. Gross. But I hadn't tasted any blood either. No blood on the stools either. On that one. Haven't felt any weird pains in the groin or abdomen or anything else in the body that would constitute maybe something abnormally wrong. I know I still go through the depressional stages left and right and I'll be sleeping about an hour or two and then wake up. Sometimes I'll feel the depression but at least I'm not trying to you know, at least I'll try to function afterwards. When I get up, my back is usually killing me. But I get up, and I deal, and I cope. My gait is still off a little bit, but, you know, I don't use the muscles as much. This is what happens. I should be get. I need to get back into walking again. I need to get back into walking. As for the other psychological stuff, well, the 19th is within a couple of hours. And it's the anniversary that usually drives me crazy. The reason why I was watching some of the shows for, like Gotham is numbing the brain. I know it's mindless violence and I had to look away sometimes just trying to keep up with the, with the storyline, with the plot lines. Trying not to get into the blood and gore like they've got on a constant basis. And it doesn't mean I'm going to be laughing up my head, my head off and saying, I want more, I want more. No, that's not it. That's not it. That's all it needs for the cops to do a health and welfare check and saying, do we need to give you the street jacket now or give you the street jacket later? 
No, officers, I don't believe that's going to be necessary. Thank you very much. However, you've got a surefire way of getting rid of the damn bugs out of this whole damn complex I live in here. Maybe I'll take you up on the damn offer. At times, I've contemplated the idea of trying to get in home services, but the thing is, since going through it a couple of times, I'm not, it's not fiscally possible. It has to come out of my own damn pocket, and I'm not paying for it. I haven't got the money to pay for someone else coming over here trying to take care of me. I'm not going to be able to pay them enough for it. So I struggle with what I've got. I'm still dealing with my little dog having dementia issues. At times she's lethargic and she's able to understand what I'm saying and she'll go maniac in the next instant. She sleeps most of the day and sometimes at night she's wandering around or running around. I worry more about that dog than I worry about my own damn health. Yeah. Minor inconveniences. I still got... Uh, Dental work just scares the hell out of me. And not to mention I got ears that need to be cleaned out. I got bugs all over the damn place. I don't even trust the stuff I've got right now. I gotta decontaminate everything in this place. I deal and I survive. That's the only thing I can say right now for the moment. Once it begins the 19th, and I don't know what the hell's going on after that, but I'll be doing some more videos when I can. Meanwhile, I'm going to get my ass to bed, see if I get up about 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. <sighs> Try to get myself another video batch out, and then a couple hours after that, I'll be getting back up again and try to get some cleanup working. Actually, maybe I'll just get up at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. And that'll give me the time necessary. I mean, they should be in here about 9, 9.30, or between 9 and 11 o'clock for the, for the stuff going on. So, yeah, that's really going to be fun for me. That's really going to be fun. Am I nervous about the whole thing? Not really. I usually come every week, mostly, anyway. So, we'll see what happens. And here's the thing concerning about the sleep situation. I don't sleep like a six to eight hour. I take naps all day. Two or three hours at a time. Usually there's about three or four hour, maybe five or six. If I'm lucky enough, I'll stretch it out maybe about ten hours before I get another two or three hour session out of the damn thing. But if I'm not going anywhere, how it works is uh, I get up about one or two o'clock in the morning, stay up until about three or four o'clock doing videos. I mean, being a video creator on the tube. Sleep until about 7, maybe 8, if I'm lucky. I'll get uh, either a quick breakfast or fix myself something to eat. Then around 11, 11.30, I, I take a 2-hour nap, sometimes 3, depending on the body. Uh, I'll get lunch and early dinner, actually. Now, if I'm going back to bed, it'll be about 5, maybe. Sleep a little bit. Like about 8 o'clock. I mean, it varies sometimes. I've had a morning. I think I had an afternoon. And I'm ready to go for the evening sleep. I'm just checking the time right now that I've got in order to get the, get to the sack and deal with what I got to deal with. So meanwhile, I am not going to be watching Gotham all night, thank God. But I will converse with you folks later. I'll be putting this on the YouTube and listed it as unlisted and I'll send a link over through the message once more.